The text from the first letter of Peter immediately introduces a word that's crucial in the Bible, but frequently misunderstood. The word is righteous, which occurs with unrighteous. These are words that shouldn't be moralized, by which I mean they shouldn't be contaminated by association with the word self-righteous. In the Bible, righteousness speaks of the world of right relationship, the epicenter of which is paradise, the home of perfectly right relationship between God and the human being, between human beings, and between the human being and the creation. By contrast, unrighteousness speaks of the world of wrong relationship, with hell eventually coming to stand for the world of perfectly wrong relationship. In the world of unrighteousness, it's the relationship between God and the human being that first goes wrong. In fact, it's turned on its head. The creator becomes a creature, and the creature becomes or tries to become the creator. And this inversion is the heart of what we call original sin. Once the relationship between God and the human being is inverted in this way, things go badly wrong between human beings. Brother kills brother. One human being exercising over another the power that belongs to God alone. In the world of right relationship, I am my brother's brother. In the world of wrong relationship, I become my brother's killer. Jesus, according to Peter, is the supremely righteous one. He who is in perfectly right relationship at every level and in every direction. But on Calvary, he enters climactically into the world of wrong relationship. He suffered for sins, the righteous one for the unrighteous. He enters the dark world of wrong relationship in order to bring those imprisoned in that world the unrighteous, us who have sinned, into the light of right relationship, home to paradise, reconciled to God and to my brother. The death of Jesus brings us from death to life. Jesus draws us into his death in baptism so that we might share his resurrection. He was put to death in the flesh, Peter says, but made alive in the spirit. For Peter, flesh stands for unrighteousness and spirit for righteousness. One leads to death, the other to life. The world of wrong relationship is a world without mercy. And it's the mercy of God that leads us out of unrighteousness into righteousness, out of wrong relationship into right relationship with God and each other, out of death into life, into the new life which marks the community of the baptised, the church. It's the power of mercy that leads us out of a merciless world into a world where mercy has the last word. And where mercy has the last word, we can not only live with what Peter calls a good conscience, we can also come home to paradise, like the risen Jesus who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with all the dark and merciless powers finally subjected to him. Where Christ has gone, we are called to follow.